now, and you're seeing for good reason. I mean, you watch Greyheart play a second ago, and, and the value that he gets from just being at the correct space yeah. and getting that jump in properly, it, it's it's really, really strong in this version of oh, the game. Oh, it's everything, yeah. All right, they're going right into it. Uh, Mooney, of course, keeping the original order of his, and I didn't catch what order Greyheart went with. It was reversed. It was, okay. So Hydrant first, and then Chizuru, Isla, so. All right, and this is a top 24 qualifier match, uh, pre presumably for the winner's side. So uh, yes, winner's side indeed. This is gonna be exciting, a lot on the line here. Yeah, always really interesting to see two players look at their characters a little bit differently, right? Like their 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 characters are their anchors and their points are flipped. Right. The, the value that they place on some characters' tools is different from one another. Let's see which one comes out on top. Yeah, I mean Greyheart, you didn't get to see it very much against Kiardo. Uh, maybe he was a little scared to go for. Oh my goodness, wait, hold that thought. This is going to be a very dangerous situation for Isla. Rolls away from the danger. Nice. Gets the cross under. Now it's his turn. Keep it pretty basic for the first pressure there. Yeah, showing a lot of respect to Mooney Blues. And both these guys just playing that, you know, that three-quarter full screen neutral. There's definitely this feeling out process right now for both players, Ooh. trying to figure out where, where the openings are. Oh my goodness! I almost got the punish. That was so dangerous for Greyheart. Another big cross under for Greyheart. He goes for the throw this time, set up from his previous pressure. Oh my goodness. Try to snipe. Oh wow, oh. what a bait. Yo, Greyheart making a lot of really smart decisions in the clutch moments. Yeah, and that was a really valuable win because he spent a lot of meter in neutral trying to go for the snipes and right. little things here and there. So he was actually at a meter deficit. So. Winning there is a big deal. Absolutely. Oh, but anything will do it for uh, Mooney Blues now. Has to watch out for those clones. Nice. Good coverage with that clone, man. Yeah, covered uh, quite a bit of options there. It's one of the reasons why Chizu is so good. She, Absolutely. Her clones just cover multiple options at range, and you have to make hard reads exactly. on them. Exactly. And, uh, I mean, on top of which, now you're playing the character second, so she gets to combo into her, spe her super, locks out your special. Uh -huh. It can be really difficult to get her off you once that happens. For sure. Greyheart, though, uh, getting clipped by the EX clone, that, that's the Mooney Blue special, man. That guy, he be mashing on that thing. All right, the plus frames, Greyheart knows. Reset again, and that guard gauge. Oh my goodness. He could have killed. Okay, catches the roll. All right, the guard cancel takes it. Tony, uh, Mooney, of course, probably happy uh, to take that, because um, now he's got a huge life lead against Greyheart. But Greyheart's Kydern is capable of making these comebacks. That's another Tony, uh, Mooney Moves classic, the, the clone fake into the throw. Yeah, I mean, th this character, she's so good in neutral. She's so solid in front of you. And then she has these little tricky bits on right. top of which that you're almost never ready for. Absolutely. Plus, she's got a DP. Like, the character is so complete. Oh, my goodness. Almost got the punish. Didn't believe, but it doesn't matter. Just mashed out the 2A. Such a strong button for Chizuru. And you just space out at this range. Even Hydran with his great normals, difficult to, his struggles to, to press for her at that range. Mm -hmm. Almost at that 30 second timer. Oh! All right, and Mooney Blue's gonna do a lot of damage here, but again, no meter. Nice patience from Greyheart. There's a chance here. I mean, like I said before, this character has more health than everybody else because of because of his moves. Yeah, and really all it takes is one good clean hit into, you know, the 50-50 situation and make them guess wrong a couple times and, you know, you're in there. Ooh, this could be how it starts. Yeah, had to confirm in Max if you wanted something off of that normal sequence, though. So you lose a lot of meter, unfortunately, but he needed to start somewhere. Exactly, yeah. Uh, Mooney Blues, though, neutralizing the situation, and now it is back to that neutral. Oh, wow, just hops over, and this should do it. And so that's that's the thing that I really, really appreciate from the good ASL players. That little wait mm. right before they jump in, is it makes all the difference. Yeah, because they stop paying attention to it at just that one yeah. split second, that instant. And I'm that's telling all you, it takes. When you get to the highest level of fighting games, it not only becomes 
it not only becomes what, it becomes when. Exactly. It becomes that little difference in timing can throw everybody off guard. Mm -hmm. And the best players have that timing innate in them. They know how to implement that into their games. Mm -hmm. Round one. Ready? Go. Wow, just run up. Went for the throw, but no dice. <laughs> So first game going to Mooney Blues, a lot on Chiefs' shoulders, just did a lot, a lot of work. Mm -hmm. So I think that Greyheart's going to want to get as much credit done with Isla and maybe try to get some on Chizuru, but dude, Mooney, the, the Hydra in it, it, it's a big problem. Yeah, that was a great block on that, though. Oh! So dangerous, but that bit of scramble, uh, Tony, uh, Mooney coming out on top. Recovers more health, has to deal with another mix-up. Wow, just full control of that round, it felt like. I mean, there was a huge scramble there, but, you know, uh, it's that's what separates the really good players from the, the you know, the better ones. It's yeah. like, you know, whether you're able to keep it together in those types of situations. Yeah, we're asking a lot from the rest of our characters now, yeah. but one of the beautiful things about KOF is that sometimes you give up rounds like that and it's not over. Exactly. I mean, like, any one character is a able to make that comeback. I mean, you saw Mooney was able to do it first, but uh, Greyheart can do it just as easily. It's a run-up Stormbringer. Recovering more Ooh, health. The chase down. Beautiful stuff. Recovering more health. Oh, oh went for it again. Greyheart undeterred. Nice jump. Greyheart has seen that. He, he does it himself. Oh, he dropped the combo afterwards, though. Yeah, the nerves might be getting to him, man. You'll be frustrated with that. Yeah. But there's always an opportunity here. You're playing one of the best characters in the game, and you put him on anchor for this reason. Exactly. Wow. Boy. Out of the air. Oh. A little too shallow of a jump, and no anti-air there. I was kind of expecting that. Uh-oh. Mooney is just getting so much value out of just a really simple combo. It just sets up all of his pressure. He's confident in his neutral. It's making it really difficult for Greyheart to get anything started because it doesn't have to give him much. Exactly, yeah. I mean, he's keeping it real compact right now. He's just, again, not giving, not, uh, giving very many openings. Oh my goodness, what an option. Nice fireball. Oh, oh no! Unfortunate for a gray heart. Uh, Mooney Blues moving on 2 0. Looking really convincing in that second game, though. Yeah, and that'll be qualifying for top 24. So good stuff to him. Mm -hmm. Gray heart still in it, though. But you're saying the, the pools downstairs is, is, is get a kind of sharky. It's, getting, it's, rough. it's getting rough. It's rough. I mean, KOF in general, all, like at this point in the game's lifespan, like not that many, like. There's no easy wins, you know, in, in KOF yeah. anymore. So, and, and especially at this point in the tournament. So, yeah, the average player has, has gotten so good right now, especially mm -hmm. now that everybody's like with rollback. It, yeah. It, people grind really, really hard in this game. You see it like with all of the online brackets. You see those people like just they enter those brackets time in, time again. They're trying to get as many games as possible. And uh, I, I, I love it. I love it. this is this is what I've always wanted, and I think that rollback gave us the opportunity to do it. 